Students of the early generations versus students of the 21st century. Inasmuch as the roles of the teachers change to meet the needs of the students in today's education, the students' roles likewise need to change. To become more competent, knowledgeable in theories and in practice, and competitive in the call of the community and the world. Students in the earlier generations are indeed different in today's generation. Having technologies at their side make them more advanced in information where they do not need to have a long distance walk just to access information from the books in the library. Almost all information and tools that they need are already at the palm of their hands. They only need to access and use these technologies rightfully and appropriately. Before, students depend so much from the teacher when it comes to learning. They listen passively to the discussion. They only speak or answer when they are asked. They learn theories through memorization of text and many others in which we can tell that is not entirely authentic. Thanks to technologies, especially to the period that it began to enter the field of education. Let us take a closer look at the difference of the students of yesteryears and the students of the 21st century. Students of yesteryears are receiver of facts and information. Their learning is based on repetition and they are textbook users. While Students of the 21st century are active creators of knowledge, they are interactive knowledge constructor, and they are internet users to access a vast of information. Students of yesteryears are also passive recipients of information. They are competitive learners and factual thinkers. While students of the 21st century are actively engaged in class activities. They are collaborative learners and are reflective, critical, and creative thinkers. Students of yesteryears are considered unilateral thinkers. They have an active process of learning and they are dependent learners. While students of the 21st century are considered divergent thinkers. They have dynamic processes of learning and they are self-managing learners. Students of yesteryears are single taskers and single sensory input providers. While students of the 21st century, they are multitaskers and multi-sensory input provider. Having technologies in the lives of the youth make them much more digi-centric than the previous generations. Many believe that students today spend more time with their computers and other gadgets in watching and creating videos, listening to music, playing digital games, accessing social media networks to chat, and read the ins and outs in today's generation. Their language is even influenced digitally or technologically. Today's students can communicate with their classmates, even to their teachers, friends, family, and relatives through a variety of resources. Example of these are laptops and or computers, notebooks, smartphones, and tablets. They can even access information about anything, anytime, anywhere at their fingertips. Their generation has been called as the digital generation. The advent of technology in education is truly a blessing for students where they can access information, make their projects and other requirements in school faster and easier. It's just that students have to be reminded of being responsible 
using these technologies appropriately. They should avoid the misuse and overuse of technologies. Generally, they have to be techno-smart, not techno-addict. With the existence of technology, there is much that is expected from the students. They have to learn to generate their own ideas and construct their own understanding of the lesson. They also have to create works that are original. They have to communicate clearly with other students and with their teachers. And they also have to collaborate with one another to achieve higher standard of learning and innovate learning and their outputs.